I'm not touching that though. Touch it, touch it. <laughs> uh, touch it, touch it. Welcome back to Bit Unusual. Today we're going to be testing out a brand new spanking new vacuum chamber, right? This is a prototype, we're still in testing phase, but we want to share with you our journey to innovate, to iterate on it. So let's see what we have. First piece of a puzzle is our cookie jar. Very, very thick glass so that it can hold our pressure system. Next thing is our sealant, which is a silicon mold. I'll show you in another video how to make one of these. Next thing we have are PSI gauge or pressure gauge. It shows you how much pressure is being sucked out or air I should say is being sucked out pound square inch every single time our pressure system changes. And then we also have a valve it allows us to control how much air is coming in and out of our system and our vacuum pump. This one allows us to suck all the air out so that we have a perfect or at least close to perfect vacuum system. So before we start, we must be safe. So I'm using safety goggles just to make sure that I don't hurt myself if this possibly implodes. Yes, it's durable, but you always want to be safe. So our first test is to make sure that we're able to boil water. Now boiling sometimes implies temperature, but what's really awesome about this is if we lower the pressure, theoretically, our water that we have here should boil. Let's check it out. We got some water here. Let's put our vacuum chamber on top of it, secure it. Let's try it out. Let's close my valve now. This is the reason why we have a prototype. It doesn't do it on its own. Even though wood, the one that we have here is non-porous, which means that it doesn't allow air to go in and out or any type of li liquid, it still needs a really good tug in order for it to work out. There we go, we got it, we got it, we got it. All right, negative 20 PSI. Negative 25. It's happening slowly, but I do see some bubbles forming. That bubbles, those bubbles, that means that we're phase changing. Water's getting hot, oh, I see some popping. We did it! We did it! And this is happening at negative, almost negative 29 PSI. That means we took out 29 PSI, 29 pounds square inch of pressure from our vacuum chamber. And that water is not hot at all. And I'll prove it to you. Let's uh depressurize. Here we go. Looking good, looking good. Watch. It's not gonna be hot at all. Look at that. It's cold. It's cold. Trust me, it's cold. So let's try some common foods. What do we have here? Let's do some marshmallows. Look, look at this. This is one that Ben ate. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Oh, that's disgusting. Alright, let's do it! Once again, you gotta force it down slightly. Oh, there it is, it caught. Holy smoke. We're almost at negative 25 PSI. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Can turn it off real quick? I think what happened is that it lost all the air that was on, in, on the inside. So therefore it deflated after all the air came out. That is pretty interesting. We're still sitting here at negative 20, about 26 PSI. Let's try to suck some more out. Oh, looks like that's it. All right. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I'm not touching that though. 
touch it, touch it. Touch it, touch it. Oh my god, it's hard as a rock. Oh, that is pretty awesome. Incredible. So we're gonna try a lot of these marshmallows. These aren't bitten. Go ahead, oh. Ben. Ah, oh, fail. Let's try it. That is pretty amazing. Some of them are still doing it though. Some of them are indeed inflating it looks like and then deflating. So the air is trying to escape and once all of it does and it collapses. All right, I think we're ready to depressurize. That's pretty cool. Got some deflated marshmallows. It looks like white raisins. Look at this. This is pretty cool. So, limitations. First, the wood. The wood, even though it's non-porous, which means that it doesn't allow air to go in and out of the surface, the issue is, is our sealant, for some reason, it's not sticking really well to it. It can be just the two surfaces having too much friction. I, I honestly, I, I'm not really sure. We're going to have to investigate that. That's one. Two, the holes. This is where the air is getting sucked into to create our vacuum. So you can see it's on the base. Not good, especially when we're starting to use fluids. You know, we want to use liquid nitrogen at some point. We don't want any of that fluid to get inside of here and to get trapped. Any solids, too. Once that happens, then our system just messes up. This hose, the copper hose, travels underneath the base, goes through this system that we have here, which then travels out through our vacuum pump. Issue is, it's very hard and not really that accessible to fix. So that's another thing we have to change to our prototype. That was a very interesting trial today. We looked at how our vacuum chamber works and if the engineering of our prototype is the best. As we saw, there's things that we can improve upon. Is there anything that you guys want to see inside our vacuum chamber or even thoughts on how our engineering scheme can work? Please, in the comments below, give us your thoughts. And if you like what you saw and you want to see more, like and subscribe and take care.